G'day, this is Lucia. Welcome to my art channel. In today's video, I'm going to continue with some more experimenting with that wonderful artist, Jamel Belgamari's artwork. Now, in this one, I'm going to do something a little different, something I saw him do that really intrigues me. And that is using the trusty little old kitchen sponge and my trusty little finger. Now, I haven't had a chance to practice properly, of course, as usual. So <laughs> this will be a little trial or test, as you might say, to see if it'll work. So here goes. Let's just start with the red. This might need to be a bit wet. Let's wet this all together. And let's see what happens. Mm, not really doing much. All right, you know what? I'm not liking that. That guy has got amazing hands, I tell you. Whatever he tries, it works. For me, not so much. So, I'm going to try something there. A little bit different. That effect better. Yes, as a background, I like that better. Seems to give it more depth. Just wipe that off. I'm liking that a lot more than the sponge effect. Oh, yes, I'm liking that a lot more. That looks cool. Finally, Blue Loon is doing something for me. Okay. Now. Let's do the finger thing with just the one colour for now, I think. Very straight, I am. I'll try and keep the finger moving in a very straight line, like he does. It's better. give the bamboo effect. I loved finger painting as a kid. <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> this reminds me of it. Now this one I'm going to go this way. Keep going over the top of them. 
kind of gives you a bit of a 3D effect. quite mastered the double colour yet so I'm going to stick with just the single colour for now. Get the uh, design down pat first then I might try it with the double colours I think. Now, I'm not sure whether that one worked as well as it should. Yeah not too bad. The more you go over it, the more of a 3D effect it gives you. Such an awesome little trick. <laughs> so cool, I tell you. Such a cool effect. Just using your finger and paint on the canvas, or on the tile in this case. I'm using a 20 by 20 centimeter tile. Awesome, such an awesome little trick. Not sure where I'm gonna start now, I'm gonna go this way. So cool. All right, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. It's giving it a little bit of a thrill. Oh, one more, she says. I don't wreck it, but I just want to give it a little bit. It's not very straight, that one. But anyway, um, yeah, it's giving it a little bit of a 3D effect, and I love it. That's using the one color. Now, in his videos, he uses more than one color. He starts off with this way. But um, then he goes off and does other colours. Quite fantastic. I love this artist, he's just amazing. Just using simple techniques and just paint and water, which is a great cheap alternative, particularly for those of us on a budget. So that is really cool. It's not perfect. <laughs> hey, it's just an experiment in my case. I don't think that's going to work because come the other way. Oh, that's interesting. I've got the other way with that one. Maybe that's what I should have done. I was going this way. I think he goes forward. Doesn't matter. But cool. Oh, I'm a bit crooked there. <laughs> that is very 
cook it. It's all right. All good. Okay. That's interesting. It's an interesting technique. I will have to practice some more, I think. But that's not too bad for a first try. <laughs> I might let that dry and see what it looks like when it's dry. If I don't like it, I'll just spray it again and wash it off. Um, that's the one good thing about using tiles. Okay, that's it. I'll give you a flyover. Can't say my finger painting is straight, but it's got a really cool effect. I'm really, really liking it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you liked my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when the next video is uploaded. Until next time, take care. Bye. Thank you.